again here at the uh, Congressional Caucus's uh, 52nd Annual Legislative Conference. Uh, a lot has happened in 2023. Um, you know, civil rights, Supreme Court, you know, reversing uh, affirmative action in a way with a higher education, you know, gun violence, um, you know, housing crisis, a lot in 2023. If you had to look at the year as a whole, right here we are in September 2023, how would you describe what this year has been like? Well, listen, we're in a fight for the soul of our democracy. Um, I think that uh, if truth be told, um, uh, there are those who in the midst of the challenges and the trauma that all Americans are experiencing across racial lines. Um, there are people who are always wanting to stir up the angst that people feel and exploit it for short-term political purposes. Um, I, I think that there's a way in which we haven't uh, fully considered all that we've been through. Uh, once at a century pandemic, something that nobody alive had ever experienced was created, an economic turn down, and then in the wake of that, uh, challenges in um, our, our uh, supply chains, full range of economic issues, global inflation. And in the midst of that, we've had to try to govern. Uh, I'm proud of the fact that with the smallest margin uh, in terms of a majority in the Senate, uh, we passed the first stop bars of that bill that a very, very long time people have been talking about it. Uh, we passed the Chips and Science Bill, which advances American manufacturing. Uh, we supported our veterans uh, who have uh, uh, endured 20 years of war. And then we passed the Inflation Reduction Act, which uh, invests in, uh, again, in American manufacturing, in a great energy future, caps the cost of prescription drugs, gives people a fighting chance. I'm, I'm proud that my provision, which caps the cost of insulin for folks on Medicare no more than $35 out of our cost, was in that bill. And one of the things I'm focused on right now uh, is getting insulin cap for people who have insurance as well as people who do not have insurance. I come from a state where about 12% of the adults have diabetes, about a million Georgians. And um, when you think about people's pocketbooks, uh, these drug prices, which are connected to the outsized influence of uh, uh, certain uh, pharmaceutical voices in our politics, it's a drag on the economy. It's, it's, uh, it's, it's a drag on the workforce that we need to, to see healthy. Um, and so I think that there's a way to create a reasonable space for the innovation in the private sector and the corporate sector and uh, the kinds of, uh, of uh, policies in the public sector uh, that lead to growth and equity at the same time.